Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Gap, or as we like to say, Games Around the House. We're back with Act 6, Curtain 2 of Puppeteer after we've very slowly defeated the rabbit. We're now going to face General Booster in a Magic Tea Party land. So, this should be fun. Our hero's rabbit chase led him deep into the chrono-illogical land of time. Meanwhile, the Moonbear King was on to the witch, whose own dark intentions still hung on the air. Yeah, well, let's jump on in. Now back to Kutaro's tale. No world is complete without a clock tower, and the moon is no exception. Okay. The hands of this clock are not used to tell time. They are used to shape children's dreams. That's a weird clock. Decide if it's a quarter to a nightmare, or half past a daydream, or ten till a moon the wind. To keep a stern watch over the clock, the moon goddess had chosen Mr. Pink. But that was before Mr. Pink. When the white moonstone shattered, the clock spun into madness, and Mr. Pink went missing. I don't know what the clock tower is set to at the moment, but I'm having really weird dreams. <laughs> to bear or not to bear? Who is she? This witch who's after my moonstone. Why does she oppose me? She didn't have to steal Calibrus. She didn't have to pick on me like this. I think you're it's both able to be honest. This is my moonies. Nobody else can have it. Not that mean witch. That awful hag. Whoever she is, she's mean and, and I hate her. Have I seen her somewhere? Yes, that makes me I've met her before. Wait. This we Of course. You're done, man. Checkmate. Ah! <laughs> Katara, look out! These cards are about to fall. The cushion in Katara's hall was a strange garden constructed like a maze. So I don't suppose we're back in the past. Frimly precise hedges were prankishly preventing Kutaro's progression. Of course, Kutaro had proved to come pre-equipped with the proper prudence. Oh, I like how the set is like moving on the gears as you move along. That's cool. Well, you must be Mr. Pink. Yep. Oh, you talk faster than most sane people think. And we've got a lot to do. Shameful, simply lamentable, the attitude. 
pursuit of our young people tonight, struggling aside the weighty implications of their history and heritage, demanding instant gratification, reading spoilers of movies they haven't yet seen, dreadful this kind of rapid culture death, just keep the mood back in the edge, you know? No, us dying of boredom will get in the edge. Come on, don't oh. kill me. Oh, okay. Is that, is that, uh, Mr. Pink? Oh, I don't want to listen to it again. So, like, why were you hiding in the bush again? Ah, must we go over every detail? Crops ticking, sand trickling out of the hourglass. Come on now. <sighs> Fine, here we go. Class is in session. Have a seat or stand or hover, whatever. Basically, this all started with dreams. The goddess, because she's rather smart, decided that there should be a certain parity. That means equality in how we interact with children in their dreams, which of course led to the construction of the clock tower. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, we get the point. Thank you, Mr. Pink. Sort of interrupted Mr. Pink's speech. <laughs> that clock controls Hello, Mr. Stop. Only I can operate it in the goddess's absence. Stop. I hid from at MBK to keep him from using it for evil. Stop. 140! Well done. So the Moon Bear King is after your clock. Wait, what does he want with a clock? Can't he buy a watch? to explain that too. All right. Yes, please. 20 words or less. Oh God, that's gonna be tough. He wants to permanently stop with the clock hands at midnight, but he needs me to do it. Great, that does sound bad. What happens if the hands stop at midnight? Dreamtime will be frozen at the darkest hour, never to flow again, in short. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh. Oh no! Mr. King! <laughs> Harry! If the Moon Bear King uses me to stop that clock, we're all. We're all! And for once, Mr. Pink was at a loss for words. The last guardian of the clock tower was in Rooster's clutches, and the Moon Bear King was poised to plunge all the Earth's children into an eternal night. Well, maybe it's better that he shut up that way. Kudaro dashed through the burdened labyrinth, determined to free Mr. Pink from the diabolical General Gustav. I don't have that head. Heads up. Quickly, Ed, you must emancipate me, uh, which, as you know, more or less derived from Latin, meaning deliver from the hands of. Edes, you must free me from General Rufus Allen. Oh, it's in the right. And thereby render me liberated. Yes. Now, freedom is in subjective, however. Don't be deaf. Thank you. There is so much going on here, it's not funny. <laughs> Whoops. I was not paying attention. Coming. 
times, right. Tokyo Gardens yes. was a magical place. Now, uh, uh, freedom may seem subjective. Uh, however, a gag's kind of a little faster. I am in trouble, you know. I mean, you've got stumpy appendages, but a bit of urgency with the conference table walking right. Unless you've already written me off as a disposable character. Yes, well, I have a few things to say about that. You are disposable. Oh, I'm sorry, what, Picarina? I think you're the one. you for that one, Mr. Pink. You're the one with the bad disguise. The garden stretched on endlessly. I see we've upgraded to dinosaurs. A triceratops. How fun. Oh, hurry. Trim that hedge. Yes. Good enough. Found himself astride a triceratops. Second old news of a T-Rex on the dinosaur top 40. Whoa. Oh. Come back here, Booster. The twisted Tokyo into Pongrafer is making Mr. Pink's rescue rather difficult. That was cool, we got to ride a Triceratops. Oh, what the heck? I don't think anybody cares. <laughs> oh no, we're doing it 2D. Oh, there was stuff up there. No. Nope. Alright, let's go again. Come on, Booster. No, up, 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 up. Oh. Down. Head, please. Remember, it's proper to give up your seats for the elderly and people who need them. Yeah, I'm not so sure my grandma would want this chair. I'm trying to jump. I'm jumping. Oh, we're already here. Okay. That's one way to advance the plot. I do not remember the clock tower at all. Which means this stood up will be very fun. Or I hated it and I removed it from my memory. 
Kutaro's wild rooster chess have led him to Mr. Pink's place of employment, one magical clock tower at the heart of the land of time. The insides of the tower were stuffed with enormous, intricate gears. Do they really need this many? We're talking analog clock work here, not digital, so. In order to transmit talk. You see, they're finely tuned to make sure that the hour and minute hands of the clock rotate at steady. Oh, don't dash, don't dash, don't dash. Also, they make convenient footholds. Oh, I can walk over there. Oh. Here you go, Rex. Oh, you're not affected, okay. Oh, no, let me out. Oh, I didn't. I was trying to get the cheese off the rat, to be honest. Is that? Head. No, I didn't realize. I didn't realize that was my last head. Kutaro's wild rooster chess have led him to Mr. Pink's place of employment. One magical clock tower at the heart of the land of time. Alright, let's speed run it again. That they do. Can I chop you? No, I can't. Oh, give that back, please. And up. There we go. I want the big one. Give me the big one. Oh, okay. Maybe I won't get the big one. The tower's stately exterior was lavishly decorated, which worked out well for Kutaro, who needed a path to the top. Oh, are you Brewster's children? Oh god! Oh, 
Oh god, they are his kids. Oh, oh. We can't assume their gender there, Picarina. That This is 2021, we can't do that here. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to kill another child of yours, Rooster. I feel really bad, I'm just killing off his kids. Sorry, bird. Oh, we're supposed to hit him. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't know that we could, like, shoot them out. Mr. Pink, I have some questions about the designs of this clock. I don't have that head either. Oh, 
Oh, we're at the top now. After a long clamber, Kutaro had finally reached the top of the clock tower. Hey, sit up, hero. I'm up here. I can see that. So you're sacrificing your own children as well. Right. I'm going. Come on, let's snip some wings. And return it to the RSPCA. <laughs> oh my god, we are actually chopping his wings off. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, we're gonna cock a little do this. I don't know why you turned your back on me. <laughs> Who's ready for Thanksgiving? We don't celebrate it in Australia, but I just thought I'd say it. <laughs> oh, that's another hit. Well, this was a fun dance, but you're you're going to KFC. <laughs> We don't want to.
children everywhere will be locked in an inescapable nightmare. Their souls will be ripe for the harvest. They will make my master invincible. <laughs> Oh, General Dragon. turns him into a turkey into a into a meal <laughs> and we couldn't With save the, help of Calibus, the earth <laughs> Kuturo defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few well done Kuturo the souls he freed were homeward bound well oh we've got 400 now children into an endless nightmare and worse yet the moon bear king had sent dragon to harvest their souls act six is getting messy indeed oh that right. well, looks like next time we're going up against yet another boss and it's going to probably be like the snake level which should be interesting but we'll do it next time on games around the house or get. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.